My name is Mestre Barro. I'm the leader of Grupo Ache Capoeira. I'd like to introduce some of the structures of the Grupo. This is Zen Birimbau, Instructor Birimbau. This is Lalo, Monitor Barronzinho. We're gonna do some stretches uh, before you show in the movements. That's gonna help you to do the Capoeira movements. This is gonna be the first one, okay? So put your hand up and then go down. It's gonna help you to stretch this muscles here. So they help you to do the esquiva. We're gonna show you later. The esquiva lateral. Okay, up to another side. You can go right around 10 seconds. Okay, for each side. Okay. So now you go up here. Okay. You have to do some stretch on the arms, okay? Let's go down here. Okay, hold around 10 seconds. Okay, let it go down and go to side. Down. Okay, now your right arms up. Let's pull around 10 seconds. Okay, down. Good side. Down. Now we're gonna do the hips stretch. Gonna help you to do the turn kicks. Okay, step, turn your face, come back. Step, turn your face, come back. One more time. Step, turn your face and your hips, come back parallel. Step again, turn your face, come back parallel. Okay? So now we're gonna do that one here. Turn this way, okay? Down. It's gonna help you to do a skiva de frente where you're gonna show you after, okay? Hips down and move a little bit. It's gonna help you to stretch this muscle here. It's gonna help to do a skiva de frente. Okay, up to the side, turn around. And hand down, stretch, okay? Ground 10 seconds, okay? Up. Okay, now we're gonna do this one here. Down, stretch, or just down. Okay, around 10 seconds, okay? Up. Okay, now down to help the stretch this muscles here. Okay, stay down. This is gonna help you a lot to do that is the kick, size kick. Okay. So up. You can go like two or three times, around three, around ten seconds. Down. Up. I'm gonna go up and just go down. Put your head to your right knee. Uh, up. Going to your left knee. Up. Okay, just close your legs slowly. Okay, and down. Ooh. Stretch back and down. Lose. Back. Please. Back. Okay, you can do like 10 times like that. Okay? Let's do some more stretch. Okay, now put your hand, let's stretch our necks. Okay, down here. Okay, down, a lot side. Down, okay. So just fall down. You can do around 10 seconds. Okay, just turn. Okay. 
Okay, turn your neck. Keep in turn. Okay, it's very good. Make sure you warm up and do the strap before you do the movements. Now, we're gonna introduce to you the Jinga. Jinga is the basic movement for capoeira. That's the more important movement. Before you learn how to do the attack or escape, it's important to learn the Jinga because all the movements come from the Jinga. If your Jinga is wrong, all your movements are gonna be wrong too. So now, it's going down to Cadeira. Okay, and you start the Jinga with your right legs. Keep, keep your front legs bent. Okay, both legs and the back leg too. So you can back parallel, keep your hands. Don't drop your hand down before you switch your other legs. See? For that, you come back parallel. Keep your hand. Now keep in jinga. So the cadera help you to keep your body low. So you, if you, when you're low, you can keep your knee down. And below your chain. So make sure you don't cross your legs. Okay? So don't let if you cross your leg can lose your balance, right? So if you do that, you can lose your balance. So keep in jinga. So now, we're gonna show you in another angle. Make sure your front leg is bent. It's very important. Don't drop your hands. Keep your hand in front of your face. Below your chain. Okay, let's continue. Now, we're gonna show you the Jinga with Passagem. The Passagem is help you to move around and create more situation to the game of Capoeira. Okay, so now we start the Jinga. Three Jinga. Step. Back. Step to the left. Back to the right. Step to the right. Back to the left. Okay. Oh. Step. Step. Okay, make sure you step light. Oh, okay, a little jump. Oh, keep your hand. Okay, keep your hand in the front. Oh, don't cross your leg. Lift up and down. Soon you step. Look, soon you step. Straight to the jinga. One more time. See? Three jinga. Back to parallel. Step. See? A hand. So you don't cross your leg. Right? So you keep your hand in the front of your face. You step parallel. Right? So. Don't drop your hands. You see them, it's too tall. He keep his hand up to his face. 
if you see Barrozinho, the same thing. So he don't cross his leg when he jinga. And he keep his front leg bent. It's very important. The step always come from parallel. Okay, no step. Don't do the step with when your leg is back. Just do the step when your leg is parallel. Okay? Now we're gonna continue with the passaging. Pas now we're gonna do the passaging in the front. So the front with your front legs. You go three jinga and you step with your front legs and finish the movement parallel. So I'm gonna show you right now. Three, front leg, step, keep your hand parallel. Two, three, front leg, step, parallel. So move your hands when you step. Front, step, parallel. It's important to turn your body and go. Back, turn your body, keep your hand parallel. It's important this hands to be in the front. To push your opponents back. Okay? Front, turn, step, go. Okay, now I'm gonna show the movement by myself. I wanna make clear, I wanna make sure you understand. So we're gonna show very slowly to make you understand better. So I always start the jinga from cadeira. Okay, when you go back to the jinga, your front leg step and go parallel. And jinga is front leg, you put your weight to the back. Hands, make sure your hands there. And parallel and jinga, okay? Put your weight to the back and turn your body. The step. Parallel. And jinga. Okay? One more time. When you turn, keep the right, the right hand come to the front. Right? So, but you step right away. And parallel. And jinga. Okay? Let's continue. We're going to do all together. <laughs> Let's continue with another movement. Now, we're gonna show the escape movements called the esquivas. Okay, the first esquiva we're gonna show you is called esquiva lateral. Okay, start from the jinga to jinga. One, two, finish parallel and going. And back, one. Two, back, down, and one. Two, parallel, down. Make sure you keep your hand up. Okay. One, two, parallel, down. One, two, finish parallel, and go down. Okay? So now I want to show you by myself to make you understand better. Okay? Well, from the jinga, you go one, back, two, when you parallel, and down. Make sure you head down, your arms up. Up the jinga, one, two, parallel, and down. Keep your, your head down. Up, one, two, and one, two, okay, let's to do together. One, two, Let's 
continue with another schema. Now we're gonna show you a schema different. Okay, two jinga and a schema different. Go down. Make sure you head to the side. Keep your head to the side, your hand in the front. Back. Back. Bend your back leg and keep your head to the side, hand to the front. Come back. So every time you go to the skiva, your head going to the side. Okay? Make sure your hands in that position here. Not put like that. It's like that. Okay? Back. And down. Okay, now we're gonna show a different angle. You make sure you put your hands in the floor, not use your fingers. Okay, hand to the side, not to the front. Okay, your back leg is still a little bit bent. Yeah. You keep your hand in front of your face and put your head down. Okay, if you see the legs of the Strutobin Bow, the back is bent. Right? So see here, when you talk about the hand is straight to the face, in the front of his face, not dropping your hand down. Okay, it's very good. Let's continue with another skiva. Now we're gonna do this skiva agachada. Three jinga and skiva. Start from the jinga. Cadeira e ginga. Turn. Two. Three, turn. Back. One. Two. Three, turn. Back. Turn. Back. See? It's important to keep your hand in front of the face. Okay? Jinga, turn. See? Keep your hands straight. Make sure you bend your both legs. Move. You go front, turn. If you see here, his hands in the front, in the front of his face. Okay? It's important to cover your face. Escape with the hands over there. Okay, let me do a different angle to make you understand that. Okay, let's continue. So now we're gonna do the skiva diagonal. Three jinga and skiva. Back leg to the front. Back. Three. 
Feel the movement. It's important to keep your foot legs bent. When you step, make sure you bend your, your head. Three jinga, back leg step in. Make sure your front leg, is the front feet is turned to the side. In, see, the feet, when your back feet, keep it straight. Right? So step in. Okay? So let's show one more time. I'm gonna show the, the details. See? If you look to the, the feet, the front feet is turned to the side. The back feet, they point on the front. See? The arms cover the face. Okay? Let's continue with the node movement. Now we're gonna do this movement called resistance lateral. Three jinga straight to resistance. Start. Down to the jinga. One, two, three. Down, up. Two, three. Down, up. Two, three. Parallel. Turn. Hand. Parallel straight down. Up, jinga. Three, down. Make sure your front leg is bent. One, two, three. Sit down. So you keep elbow. Protect your face, your legs. You bend the knee and bend your front legs. Okay? So that is important. Keep it, your balance. It's very important from, from this leg here to your, to your right arms, okay? And your left, cover your face. Okay, let's continue with another movement. Now we're gonna show you the resistance of the front with hole. Hole is a skate movement. We're gonna do two jinga, and the resistance with the hole. Look between the legs when you do the movement. Now, look. Parallel jinga. So see the movement. Go down. Now, so the front leg is bend the front leg. One, two, straight down, hole. One, two. See, if you look, you see the elbow protect the face, head to the side, the feet point to the side. It's important too, your hand, you have to point to the side because that's where you balance, they help you balance. If you point to the front, your hands, if you point your hand to the front, your oppon the opponents, you don't gonna have a balance, right? So the balance is to the side. So make your base strong. Now they're gonna do hole and look between the legs. Look between the legs and finish. That's good. Let's continue with another movement. Now we're gonna do the movements called AU. The AU is a very uh, important movement. Like they usually introduce the game with that movement. Okay, three jinga from cadera. Two, three, parallel. Put your hand down. Finish parallel and jinga. Three, parallel. Left first, go up, parallel. One. Two, three. If you go to the right, put your right hand first. Go over, left, finish. Two, three, parallel, body down. 
Okay. So now you're gonna see hands, push your body, finish parallel straight to Jinga. Okay, see so body have to be low. See hands. Three Jinga. Two, three parallel au. Finish parallel one, two, three parallel au. Okay, now we're gonna do very slow to make you any step. Okay, stop that. Right hand to the ground. When you pull your body, put your left. Let's go. Parallel. One, two, three. Parallel. Put your left and push. And go parallel. Okay, let's continue with the node movement. Now we're gonna show the movement called queixada. So we're gonna do the exercise we've been doing already for the beginning of the instruction. I think you're gonna remember that. See, <clears throat> from down here, back, turn, cross. Keep your hand up, okay? One more time here, that side, turn. When you cross, your momentum comes from your hips, okay? Step right away and go. Keep your hand up. Down, up, one more time, here, up. When you go up, your hand has to go up and you turn your hips. Make sure you cross your legs, okay? It's important. So don't do here, okay? So you cross and go back, hand up, turn, okay? Step, cross, parallel. Okay, now we're gonna do the movement together. Cross, Turn, cross your leg, and kick, finish your back. Turn, finish back. So see, you cross your leg and turn your hips. You get a moment from your hips. Hand up. See? One more time. Cross, kick, finish your legs back. Make sure you cross your leg. Okay, good. Let's continue with another movement. Now we're gonna do a mada. So I think you're gonna remember that we did in the beginning of the instruction too, the exercise. You're gonna show, I'm gonna show you one more time the exercise before you're doing the movement. So down here, okay, you go one, come back parallel, step, make sure you keep in watch, turn your face and your hips, and come back and go one. Come back again, parallel, turn, turn your face and your hips, Come back parallel and go one more time here. When you stop here, keep in watch. Keep your hand up. Turn your hips and turn your face. Okay? Always your hand up. Come back parallel and go one more jinga. Parallel. Keep your hands. Step, hand up. Turn your face. Turn your feet and your hips right away. And come back to parallel. Okay, now we're gonna do the movement together, okay? Three jinga, turn. One, two, three, hand up. You come back parallel, step, hand up, finish your movement straight back. So shinga, parallel, step. You step the face and the hips and the feet right away. Watch. See? So one more time. You step, parallel, cross, finish back. That's very good. Let's continue with another one. Now 
now we're gonna do the movement called Mealua de Compass. But before, I'm gonna show you the exercise. It's gonna help you to do the movement right. Okay, so when you're here, you do one, come back parallel, step. If you go to the right side, you step with the left legs. Oh, keep. Okay, your hands, your right hand cover your face. Turn your hips, okay? So come back, okay? Go in here, outside. So make sure that your weights come to this leg here, okay? Back, okay? So you're here, front, parallel, step. Hands here, cover your face, okay? Straight this leg here, this is the one you're gonna kick. That's the one is the base is still. You put your weights on top of the left leg. Come back, okay? If you kick with the left, put your base on top of your right, and you straight to your left. Come back here. Now we're gonna show the movement. Three jinga. Going. Parallel. Parallel. Two. Three. Come back to parallel. Look between. You see the face. And they let the legs stay almost between the legs. One, two, three. Parallel, kick. So make sure you cover your face. So the hands cover your face, see? And you finish the movement straight back. You look, put your head down when you kick to hide your head. Almost, you see the movement almost between your legs. Okay, the movements. Look like when you don't do the kick, look like the, uh, the head's going to the side. But when you do it, you hide more. You look between the legs. See one more time. Finish straight back. That's good. Let's continue with another one. This movement here called Mea Lua de Frente. Okay? So when you go Mea Lua de Frente, you go if you do the jingle with the right leg, you're going parallel, turn your hips. All the power comes from here. See, with the moment, step and go. See, when you go jingle with the left, you step parallel with your left and turn your hips to your left side, right? See, when you go, all your powers come from here. Now I'm gonna show you the movement. Come back parallel, go one, Two, when you come parallel, make sure your hands open, right? So don't be tight, okay? So when you're doing parallel here, when you go one more time, see? Oh, round, parallel, jinga. Round, parallel, jinga. Now we're gonna do it together. The two jinga and me alo de frente. Back in parallel. See? Parallel. Jing. One, two. Make sure your hand up. Two. See, make sure. Good. Come back parallel. One, two. Don't cross your leg on your jinga. Keep your leg straight. One, two. Hand up. Finish parallel. One, two. Good. It's very good. Let's continue with the load movement. Now we're gonna do the movement called martelo. Okay, from the jinga, the movements come from the back legs. Okay, make sure you lean back when you kick. Okay, one more time, see this side. Oh, it's a parallel, so you knee. It's come from the front, not from the side. Here. Okay? So, martel, your hips. 
Come back. I'm going to show you from here. Back. Back. Okay. Back. Back. So now we're going to do together. Three jingles. Three. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Three. On the back. Lean back. See? Go back parallel. And jinga. Make sure when you kick, you cover your face. With your front arms. Back parallel, shinga from the back, finish parallel, and shinga. See, lean back. When you kick, make sure your knee point to the front. Okay, let's get. What do you saw in this program? It's just the basic, the foundation movement. It is important to learn that before you jump to another steps. You learn the single movement. In the next program, you're gonna see the sequence and how to put all this movement together. Okay, I'd like to introduce one of my students, instructor, Birimbao, and I'd like to introduce my son, Monito Barronzion. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next program. Yeah,